When I was 16 years old, I left everything behind, and now I'm living alone in Japan. But to really understand why, we have to go back to the beginning. 2,340. Well, actually, 2,160. Even though I managed to subtract 180, I still have had 10% of my life so far taken away from me. That means one out of every 10 days of my life is irrecoverably lost because of something I had no say in partaking in. School. Sure, you can say I wouldn't have been able to do that math or write this script without that education. But no matter how it's rationalized or phrased, I can't see it as anything more than a scam. And getting out a year early doesn't mean I'm done. There's still college to get through. And then once I'm done paying off student loans for 20 years, I can look forward to finally living my own life. Then I'll be close to retirement and can enjoy what little life I have left. Yeah, I'll probably have mild dementia and chronic knee pain and mild dementia. But let's just jump past and forget about that for now. After all, we're all on the same boat. Except there's some problems I've been having on board. This boat has been making me seasick. Of course, I could just jump off. Anybody could but it would only leave me swimming in cold, violent waters. Most of the people that I've seen jump eventually just end up swimming right back on board, soaked, embarrassed, and humbled by the rapid waters. But that's only when they still have something to return to. The further you go down, the more likely you are to drown. Only the most determined are able to withstand the waters until they find their own stream to sail down. But that's okay though, right? I mean, this boat already has everything we need. Why put your safety in jeopardy by jumping off? Just work hard to make somebody else richer than you for 40 years, and it will be just comfortable enough to get by. Most of my life, I have been surrounded by people who have expressed no intent to jump off this boat. It seemed like most of the world is okay with living to keep this boat afloat, in exchange, getting to live a simple, satisfactory life. But as time went on, I noticed that I didn't fit in. With every passing day, I became less content with the idea of staying on board for the rest of my life. And as far as I knew, I was the only one that felt this way. It seemed like this boat worked fine for the people around me. They found their passion through school, and were content with the majors that were available. But I never felt the same way. Every time somebody asked me what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, I had to give some fake answer that I was uncertain about. And after doing it for so long, I convinced myself that is what I wanted. But deep down, there was still another part of myself that wanted nothing except to live for myself, to never have to give another day to this boat, and to sail down my own stream instead. But that's not how things work. In one way or the other, that part of myself would have to go. This boat can't afford that we have the flexibility and freedom to jump off. Whether you like it or not, the moment you're on board, you have to do whatever it takes to make sure the boat doesn't sink. School is just an introduction to this, as it teaches you how to sacrifice part of your life, obey authority, and find some job that will help keep the boat afloat. Even though I had no interest in any of the majors or careers offered, as early as middle school I was pressured into picking a career path. Then, with every passing year, I would get more and more stuck into that path. And before I know it, that very path will put me $200,000 in debt. And the longer I stayed quiet, the more people expected me to follow through with whatever decision that I made when I was 13 years old for the rest of my life. I couldn't tell them that I actually wanted to fly to Japan to be a YouTuber, so I just pretended that I wanted to be a music composer, since that's slightly more socially acceptable. But every time I said it, I knew I was lying to myself, and that I wanted to go for something bigger that's outside this boat, but I could never find the courage to tell that to anybody. When people ask you what you want to do, they expect something like an accountant, lawyer, or doctor. Something that directly contributes to the boat. Those positions make good money. But with YouTube, there's no guarantee that it will even make any money. In fact, the odds would be heavily against me. The incentive for money is all that keeps this boat going after all. And the best way towards a stable income is to sacrifice more of your life to a better school so you can make your way to a better paying job so you can help make rich people richer. But not even the shiniest gold on board ever caught my eye. And I would spend anything just to get 10% of my life back. Of course, it's good that I got the basics down at school. But after elementary school, I quickly learned that the goal wasn't just education anymore. It was just to kill time by keeping me busy with homework and essays as I got older, just until I was ripe enough to start labor. Then, you're pressured into picking a job related to what you learned, an engineer if you want to focus on math, or a Walmart manager if you want to focus on art. If you are passionate about the subjects taught in school, then you're in a good spot. But for people like me that don't like the few streamlined options that school provides, you're just left with 2,340 days gone to waste and a lack of the guaranteed future that everybody else has. When I realized this, I decided that I wanted to subtract 180 of these days. I wanted to get out as soon as I could, and for me that meant fighting to graduate high school a year early by trying to take extra classes over every summer. But school is supposed to be a fun part of everybody's life, and graduating early would just mean losing the liberty that high school is supposed to give me. At least I'm not fully employed yet, so I still have at least some freedom to my name. 
but if I just use that one extra year to try and get out of this boat and follow my dreams by going across the world, I may be able to have complete and total control over my entire life, even if it does mean potentially sacrificing freedom. Graduating early really just means running away. It means I'm just running away from the system that I'd rather die than be a part of, and taking that big of a risk would potentially dig me an even bigger hole to climb out of by throwing away my education. It's inevitable that I just climb back on board. I won't know until I try though. Even if I've never been to Japan before. Even if I've never started a successful YouTube channel before. Even if it means flying across the world alone at age 16 during a global pandemic, at least it means that I tried. The other option is to go to college in America, which would put me in much greater debt and leave me with nothing but a future of daydreaming about what could have been every day for the rest of my life. But at least I'll have a guaranteed future. There's nothing guaranteed if I try and do YouTube in Japan, except that I'm going to be left behind as everybody else lives a stable life. I would have to take extra classes in high school to graduate early, suddenly learn one of the most difficult languages, adapt to a new culture, fight for a visa, survive on my own, and then start a successful channel all at age 16. All I've ever done up until now is sit and let this boat take 10% of my life away. I have no credibility to do any of that. I can't even keep a part-time job for more than a few months. How am I supposed to just suddenly become an adult, become a Japanese speaker, become a YouTuber, when I have absolutely no name for myself? I'm basically a non-existent person, and the chance of making a name for myself is so slim that it's almost not even worth it, and it's only getting slimmer as time goes on. What right do I have to live any more of a fulfilled life than anybody else? I just sound crazy. Everybody tells me I sound crazy. Everybody tells me that I am crazy. But maybe it's as simple as that. Maybe by the boat standards, I am crazy. If I stay on board, I'll only be seen as an outcast for the rest of my life. I mean, I must be crazy if I'm the only one that sees what it means to all be in the same boat. It was when I realized that I could already see the end of this dream that I finally saw the reality of my life. I realized for the first time that there's nothing left for me on this boat, and there's nothing I can do to control that. In fact, I never really had control of my life in the first place. All that's ever been left for me was to wake up and follow orders, and wanting to do my own thing would only make this boat unsteady. Once you're out of school, the only way you can do your own thing on board is to slowly work your way up, to slowly get through high school, and slowly get promoted to the highest position. But I can't even do that if I wanted to. I've never been able to keep a normal job, but it was only a matter of time until I'd have no other choice. If I don't try this now, I'll only be able to try again after sacrificing way more than just 10% of my life. And from there, the chances of me getting off this boat only get slimmer, and I know I can't die happy on board. I have the perfect opportunity to jump off this boat for good. It's right in front of my eyes. I know exactly what I have to do. It's all I've wanted to do since I was 7 years old. I felt like I was born to create videos. It's a perfect combination of doing everything I enjoy. It's only a matter of time before I'm on my deathbed, willing to sacrifice anything just to live my life over again. I've already been robbed of 2,160 days, and I don't want that to go any bit higher. If I don't act now, I die with regret. I've lived my entire life letting the boat decide everything for me. So I figured, it's about time I finally made a decision for myself.